Good morning, sweet friends. I hope everybody's had a good week and are out this morning enjoying a great day of, of praise and worship uh, for our Lord and our Savior Jesus and enjoying the fellowship time that you're having together. Now, I apologize again this week. I'm still having some, some vision problems, so I'm going to have to get close and read. But like I said last week, the Lord will use uh, these words and and playing for whatever that he wants to use it for and uh, touch whoever he wants to touch with it. And uh, we're just going to turn it over to him and let him uh, do it. So anyway, I know it's hard to imagine, but sometimes I can get to be just a little bit opinionated. Now, a lot of the time it's with Tammy. Uh, and one of the things we disagree, disagree about the most is the music we listen to when we're together. Now, I like all kinds of music, but mostly I like to listen to jazz. Now, Tammy, on the other hand, doesn't like to listen to jazz, but she only wants to listen to worship music. Well, a pastor friend of ours said uh, years ago that there was really no Christian music, that there was only uh, music with Christian words or songs played as praise to the Lord. Now, I, I kind of agree with that. Uh, music has always been a great part of worship. The Bible tells us about that many times, and it's still true today. But when a melody is written, it could not have been that uh, alone. It could have just been a melody. For example, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, and there's the song Ode to Joy. And it's purely written as entertainment. But 30 years later, words were put to it. And we know it now as a hymn, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore, uh, adore Thee. A hymn for, of our love for God. Also, some hymns began as spirituals, such as Just a Closer Walk with Thee. It began around the Civil War time when the people of the South were needing to feel the near nearness of God, and the words were added later on. times, however, when uh, a song is written with the sole purpose of worshiping God. A good example of this is a mighty fortress is our God, showing God's majesty. Another one could be uh, when we all get to heaven, expressing the joy and victory when we get to heaven and be with Jesus. Now, the Bible tells us in Psalm 100, number one, the, to make a joyful noise to the Lord. So I believe that whatever music we listen to or play, if we do it with a worshipful heart, that it is indeed Christian music. The hymn I have for y'all today is when we all get to heaven.
I hope you guys have a wonderful week this week.